Well, hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the first car vlog. That's what these are. I'm starting a series of these car vlogs. Wish we could turn back time. I'm never gonna put in the One, take the ladder. So it'll just be me in a car uh, talking about either my day or what I'm doing or what I plan on doing or just things that are exciting me. So how y'all doing today? My day's been good. So I woke up and I went to my yearly checkup um, at the doctor's office. All good. The m oh shoot. Oh shoot guys. So I don't know what just happened, but this trailer truck just tried to back up and the, the top part of the trailer went back and the wheels stayed where they were. I'm not thinking that's supposed to happen. Oh. Oh. I want to talk about the shopping cart theory. Because I've noticed that when I sit in parking lots while I'm waiting to get an Uber request, I've, I've, I've watched people sometimes, not like that. <laughs> and I noticed that, I mean, there's people that don't return their shopping carts. There is something called the shopping cart theory. And what it is, it's like, there's a name of the test, I can't remember what it is, I'll look it up later. It's called a litmus test, I went and I looked it up. And a litmus test is basically a test to determine if someone can self-govern themselves. But basically, Returning a shopping cart to the bin where you're supposed to return it in the parking lot is like the test to prove basically can a society run by itself without government? Can a society govern itself? So you have a shopping cart. There's no law saying that you can't just leave it out in the parking lot. There's no law saying that you have to put it in the fenced off area where it's supposed to go. Nothing's stopping you from leaving it there and nothing's making you go to put it inside the thing. It's all based off your pure goodwill of, I know I'm supposed to do this, so I'm going to do it, okay? So that's the shopping cart theory. Can a society govern itself? <laughs> and it's based off a shopping cart. It is interesting to think about the type of people that always put the shopping cart back like they're supposed to and the people that just leave it out in the thing like i'm not here to like diss anyone who does that and if you do return it every time dude good on you i'm proud of you you did it you're moving up in life so yeah that's the shopping cart theory if you're listening to this and you're one of those heathens that don't return your shopping cart maybe next time return it you never know you could maybe the worker is having a bad day and he sees your one cart just sitting there and he's like, oh God, I gotta go get that now. And you can just make it that much easier just by returning to the cart. And I still love you even if you don't put the cart back. I will. And I mean, hey, exercise, right? that I hope y'all have an amazing day. See y'all next time. Not like that.